All right, hello there and welcome once again to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about how you can use responsive design and protective regions. And this is something that you can now do in After Effects uh, since After Effects 2019. So here I have a clip here. It's a clip of a drone shot. Um, if I play it back, just a normal clip. It's playing back, looks really nice, good. But let's say we wanted to maybe speed up the beginning or slow down the beginning. Say we want it around two seconds to play normal to about uh, six seconds and then we want the rest to uh, slow down after that. How can I do this? Well first I'm going to set some uh, in and out points so I press B to make an end point and I'll put that at two seconds and then at six seconds I'll press N to make an out point. Now, how do we make this a protected region so that we can uh, speed up or slow down the beginning and speed up and slow down the end? Well, all you do is you can either go up to here, Composition, and then go to Responsive Design Time and then press Create Protected Region from Work Area. Or you can simply right click on the bar here and press Create Protected Region from Work Area. And notice that this now appears and and if you double click on the marker, notice what happens. You see you have this box here that says protected region. So this area here is now a protected region. Very good. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, basically what we have to do is create a new composition and we'll call it protected region. Press enter, it's 1920 by 1080, good. And then we drag in our old composition. Now in this new composition here, we can mess with the timing here, but nothing is going to affect this uh, protected region that we made. So if I zoom in a little bit here, uh, we can see it better. And let's say I actually want to um, slow down the clip on, uh, on either side. Well first, you just have to make sure that your stretch pane is open, and if you don't see that, just make sure that this button here is selected, the expand or collapse in out duration stretch panes and this should open and you just simply stretch it out so I'm gonna make it slower so to 200 around there around half the speed play it back it's going slow now it goes normal now it goes slow again so that's how it works and it's very simple now, some of you may be asking, why didn't we just um, pre-comp this footage here instead of making the new composition and then dragging the drone composition in? Well, basically, the reason why is because if you make a new composition, it's not going to work. So, I'll show you here. I'll press pre-compose and then press OK. And then if I go back to the... Uh, drone footage here, it, it's still the same, and if I actually stretch this out, notice what happens. It's going slow, but it's not protected in this region. So I will undo all that, and have the footage again. So what you need to do is to make sure that you create a new composition, like we did here, and then you're going to drag in the old composition into the new composition. All right, so now we're gonna cover something called the intro and outro. So first what we're gonna do is delete this marker here and right click on it, delete this marker. And then notice if that you go up to composition, responsive design, press create intro. It creates like an intro spot of where it's going to be protected in the beginning. And then if I go to composition and then responsive design, create outro, it creates another protected region at the end. So if we go back here to protected region and delete this one here and we drag in the new composition, notice that in the beginning it will re remain constant. Uh, the middle of it we can stretch and then the end remains constant as well. All right, so let's say I wanted to actually create um, a protected region from the markers. How do I do this? Well, basically, I will first delete this uh, marker here by right clicking and then pressing delete this marker. And then all you have to do is simply go here 
and then create a marker. You can do this by pressing this button here, create new marker, or you can press, or you can press shift and one on your uh, keyboard. And then you want to double click on this marker here. This window pops up and then select protected region and then just give it a duration. So say I want it uh, one second long and then I just press OK and now you have a protected region you go back to your composition here the protected region one and then you drag in your drone composition and then now you have the protected region here one second so that's how you can create protected regions with markers so here we have these markers and if you want to move them all you have to do is simply click on the first one to move the entire thing I'll press Command Z to put it back and if you just want to move the endpoint, you just drag the end marker here. So, and you can move the endpoint to wherever you want it to be. So, I hope you learned something in this video, and we will see you on the next one. Until next time.